Hey everyone, it's Tom Kradzer with another Rockstar Minute. And listen, rents are completely exploding in the greater Toronto area and it's totally underreported. Check this out. About five years ago, we used to rent out a home. So let's call it a single family home, about a three bedroom home with a driveway up the side for about 1700 bucks, about five years ago. Okay, I'm generalizing here a little bit. And this home would be on the outskirts of the GTA, maybe in an area like Hamilton, Ontario, or on the east side of the city like Oshawa, Ontario. So 1700 bucks for that home. Today, we're renting out that home like this. We're renting out the top of the home for 1600 bucks and the the bottom of the home for 1400 bucks. So now that home is generating $3,000 in rental income to the landlord or the investor. That's a 70, around about a 76% increase in rent. So when we see the media reporting that, yeah, rents are going crazy and everyone's talking about it, they're totally under-reporting it because although rents are going up, it's not just the price that's going up. What you get as a tenant to move into the property is shrinking. So prices, yes, are going up, but the amount of space that you get to rent for the increased price is getting reduced. So that's on the tenant side and something to be very aware of. And it's why we call it the destruction of the middle class here in Ontario. We don't even agree with any of this. We're just reporting the reality of the situation and acting as investors accordingly. And then on the investor front, something that most beginner investors don't understand is they just see property prices going up and they don't realize how much rents are going up. So when they see rents kind of going up a certain percentage, they don't realize it's going up like 76% the way it's happening. And I'm being very conservative here. We had one of our, um, our own team rent out a property this week. They rented out the top of a home for, let me just get this straight, $21.95. So $21.95 for the top of the home, the bottom for $1,500. That's total of $3,695 on a house that we would have rented out five years ago for $1,700. bucks. That's an increase in rent on that property or income coming into the, uh, the landlord, the investor, of 117%. So again, this is happening in the GTA. When you mix in low rates, like the Bank of Canada is kind of playing chicken and mouse game, saying maybe we won't decrease rates, maybe we will. But I think David Rosenberg has come out now in the Financial Post saying, yeah, they're going to have to lower rates. When you mix in lower rates ahead of us with continued population explosion that's completely being underreported in the greater Toronto area, this is what you get right or wrong. We have no opinion. We're just trying to report reality. Hopefully this gives you something to think about. Until next time, your life, your terms.